On today's episode of Project Bullet, I'm going to show you how to limit the cam phaser. The tools needed to complete this job are a ratchet, a size 30 Torx, the phaser, a limiter kit, which I got from Liver Noise, and an inch pound torque wrench, and you'll also need a vise. Once you've placed it in a vise, and you can see where I've modified the vise to keep the teeth from getting damaged from the, from the jaws, you want to loosen all five of the bolts. Once you have all the bolts loose, take only four of them out. You have to leave the one in that keeps the spring on the other side in place. This is why it's important to leave the one uh, bolt in right here. It's holding the spring in there. That's the only thing that's holding the spring. Once you have all the bolts out, except for this one, you want to loosen this one enough so you can rotate this back plate. And there's going to be a spring somewhere to be right here you just leave that in there but if it comes apart you want to make sure you put that back in, in the correct order the living noise instructions state that you want to put the limiter kit in the vein that is flush against the outside of the gear, so that would be this one. So that's what I'll do. It's important to note that this channel right here is oriented in a way where the oil hole will allow oil passage into the chamber. As you can see, it sits flush in there, so I think I've got the right hole. Now that that's in, you rotate the plate back around and install the bolts back to their original position. And you wanna put a little bit of Loctite on the end of these bolts. So I purchased the Ford Racing Timing Kit and it came with the revised phasers. So instead of just one long bolt, it had two long bolts and the bolt comes all the way through, and this spring right here needs to be on the outside. Now I talked to Liv Liver Noise, and they said that the installation is the same, and I just need to put this spring back on the outside. So that's what we're gonna do. I wanted to say this because I didn't see anything on the internet or any videos that showed this particular phaser. The last step is to torque all the bolts to 145 inch-pounds. You now have a fully limited phaser. In the next video, I'll dive into the cam install. I'll see you next time.